we have our online class, let me inform you about our seven virtual classroom rules. First, no one is allowed to share the link to other section or to any person that does not belong in the class. Second, once you enter the link, please always mute your microphone. Third, always turn on your camera. Fourth, use the thumbs up symbol if you hear the teacher's voice loud and clear. Fifth, use raise hand symbol if you have questions. But before asking, please state Permission to ask question, ma'am. Sixth, once your name was called, kindly unmute your microphone. And lastly, always practice discipline. Be polite and respect your teacher and your other classmates while in video conferencing. Am I clear, class? Now everybody stand up and let us pray. O oh God, our Father, we praise and adore you for everything in this world. Forgive us for the sins that we have done. We give you thanks, O God Almighty, for all the blessing you have given us, most especially for the blessing of life. Thank you for guiding us all throughout our life. O God, we ask for your guidance in everything we are going to do. Give us hope and strength to overcome every struggle we will face. Give us the knowledge we need for our discussion today. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Class, do you take a bath already? Yes? Very good. How about your study area in your home? Do you arrange it properly? Wow, that's nice. Carlo, may you show to your classmates how neat and clean your study area? Thank you. Class, even though you are not here inside our classroom, you should always make your study area neat and clean so that you can learn comfortably in your home. Do you understand? Very good. Now, let us check your attendance. Group 1, is there any absent today? How about in group 2? And how about in group 3, is there any absent? Oh, I'm glad that all of you are present today. And because of that, we will be having a game! In this game, I need two volunteers. Class, who wants to volunteer? So, Anna and Ken, please turn on your camera and your microphone. Listen, I have here different numbers to be multiplied. I will flash it on the PowerPoint and you need to tell the correct product. And for that, I also need one volunteer which will serve as quiz master. Um, okay, Laika, you will be our quiz master. The first one who will be able to give the answer correctly will get a corresponding point. So, for every correct answer you will get, you will get a star. And the participants who will get more stars will be our winner. Players, put your hands under your chin and click the raise hand button if you know the answer. Okay, no coaching please! I also request everyone to please turn off their microphone. Players, are you ready? Okay, let's start. 9 multiplied by 8 is? Is it 72? Let's see if your answer is correct. Very good. You got 1 star. For the next set of numbers, what is 6 multiplied by 9? Is it 54? Very good! You got 1 star. For our third set of numbers, what's the product? Is 32 correct? Right! You got another star. Now, the game is over. Let us congratulate Anna! And for that, let us give her a fireworks clap. All together, 1, 2, 3. Shh, shh, shh. It seems that you are all alive now, so before we proceed to our next topic, let us have a short review of what we have discussed last meeting. So, who among you still remember our last topic? Yes, Mira. What is our last topic yesterday? Very good. Our topic yesterday is all about prime and composite numbers. Will you define prime number, Roselle? 
Very good! Again, a prime number has only two factors, itself and one. How about composite number? Yes, Jeremy? Very good! A composite number has at least three factors and sometimes a lot more. Okay, now let us continue by singing our new song. The GCS song. I will sing it first and later we will sing together. Do you understand? So the song goes like this. Come and join our mathematics class. Surely you will enjoy being here with us. Mastering GCS. The greatest common factor And then all being learned in this way Finding GCF in so many ways Finding factors are easy in any way And with three techniques Make us do our best Modern math today is just the best for us We're on the Half of the world of finding Down on the greatest numbers Finding factors by dividing It's the love that we found Right from very first start Can be happy and the fun in a time Okay, let us repeat Everybody, let us sing together After singing the GCF song I know that you have an idea about our lesson for today, am I right? Class, any idea? Yes, Paolo. So, according to Paolo, our lesson today is about GCF. How do you say so? Yes, correct, because it can be seen directly from the title of the song as well as from its lyrics. Very good. For that, let us give Paolo five claps. One, two, three, four, five. So today, we are going to discuss GCF or greatest common factor, particularly getting the GCF of two numbers. But before we proceed to our topic, I want you to meet Arvin Jan. Do you want to meet him? And he has a story to tell. Do you want to know his story? Okay, but before that, here are the questions which we are going to answer after we read the story. First, who is the character in the story? Second, what are the favorite subjects of Arvind Jan? Third, what did Arvind Jan plan to do and why? Fourth, how many plastic bottles and tin cans did he collect? And lastly, what is the greatest number of pieces of recyclable material each bag could contain? So, class, you need to take down notes in order to answer these questions easily. Do you understand? Now, let's begin. The title of our story is, Let's Recycle. Arvin John's favorite subjects are math and science. In science, their lesson is all about the five R's, which is reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair. Thus, Arvin John decided to recycle things in order to apply what he has learned in school. After 30 minutes, he collected a total of 64 plastic bottles and 40 tin cans. Each bag contains the same number of pieces of recyclable materials. What is the greatest number of pieces of recyclable material each bag could contain? Now, Lala, will you please read again the story? Thank you. Now, let us answer the questions. Number one, who is the character in the story? Yes, Isa. Very good. The character in the story is Arvin Jan. What are the favorite subjects of Arvin Jan? Yes, Carlo. Right. Arvin Jan's favorite subjects are science and math. How about you, Kyla? What is your favorite subject? Oh, your favorite subject in science. That's great. So, let's now proceed to number three. What did Arvin Jan plan to do and why? Yes, Snowy. Very good. Arvin Jan planned to recycle because what? Because 
who wanted to apply what their teacher taught to them in science. Very good. How about your class? Are you familiar with that lesson which is 5 R's? Yes? Very good. I am impressed. So what are the 5 R's? Yes, Jenny. Very good. The 5 R's are reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair. But in our story, what R is being practiced by Arvin Jan? Yes, Jan. Very good. It is recycling. So what is recycling? Yes, Nimpa. Correct. That's a very good answer. Will you repeat it, Mary? Thank you. Again, recycling is the process of creating a new product using a material that has already served its purpose. Yes, correct. Thank you, Mary. I'm sure that your teacher in science is very proud to you because of remembering and understanding still your lesson yesterday. Class, give yourselves yes clap. One, two, three. Yes. And now for our fourth question. How many plastic bottles and tin cans did he collect? Yes, Lira. Very good. Arvin Jan collected a total of 64 plastic bottles and 40 tin cans. And for our last question, what is the greatest number of pieces of recyclable material each bag could contain? How about human wealth? Do you know the answer in question number 5? No? That's okay. Don't be ashamed because that is our new lesson. So in order to answer that, listen to me. Do you want to help Arvin Jan in his problem? Yes? Okay, that is nice to hear. In our problem a while ago, it is said that there is a total of 64 plastic bottles and 40 tin cans. And to make it clearer, class, take a look in these two echo bags in our PowerPoint. Let us say that the boy holding the first echo bag is Daniel and Jeff is the one handling the second echo bag. Now, I will put 64 plastic bottles in the echo bag which is being handled by Daniel and another 40 tin cans in Jeff's echo bag. What do you think is the way we need to do in order to find the greatest number of pieces of recyclable material each bag could contain? You can make a guess. Who wants to make a guess? Kindly take note of the term greatest. Yes, Sarah. Very good. Why do you think so? Wow, that is impressive. Let us give Sarah a very good clap. One, two, three. Very good, very good. Class, Sarah is right. We will solve the problem by means of getting the GCF of 64 and 40. There are many methods of obtaining the GCF or of two or more numbers, but class, we are going to focus in Continuous division. Are you familiar with this? Okay, so I will teach you how. Here are the steps. Since class, you are in your home, uh, kindly get your mini board and I will ask some of you to do some of the steps. So for step one, write the numbers horizontally. So following this step, we need to write 64 and 40 horizontally. Do you understand, class? Very good. For the second step, find a prime number that can divide 64 and 40. Since this is our lesson yesterday, Bea, what is the prime number that we can use in order to divide 64 and 40? Correct, we can use 2. So write it on your mini board and it should be like this, class. Next step, divide the numbers by the prime number. Write the quotient below. So, 40 divided by 2 is 20. Then, plus 64 divided by 2 is 32. Very good. Now, for the next fourth step, continue the process until no other prime number is common. The near prime divisor is 2 also. Okay, class, let us do it all together. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 32 divided by 2 is 16. Then 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. Let's bring down 5. Then 8 divided by 2 is 
4. As you can see class, there is no common prime number we can use to divide 4 and 5. So we need to move on to the last step. For step 5, multiply the common divisors. Ben, what are the common divisors? Very good. The common divisors are the four twos there. So write it on your mini board and multiply it then show to us. Class, is Ben correct? Very good. So those are the steps you need to remember to get the GCF using continuous division. Class, the same step will also apply when three or four numbers are given. Now, let us back to Arvin John's problem. What do you think now is the answer in number 5 question? Yes, Miko. Very good. The greatest number of pieces of recyclable material each bag is 16 pieces. Very good. Now, Arvin John is very happy. For that later, I will give you some prizes. Class, is recycling important? Yes? Why do you say so? Yes, that's true. By recycling, we can save Mother Earth and also we can lessen our trash and waste. Am I right? Okay. Class, do you want prizes? So if you want, now class, all you need to do is to volunteer and pick a card. In those cards, there are problems to be solved. You need to raise your hands if you want to try it. Then write your answer in your mini board. For those who are listening, uh, don't worry because you will still have a chance. You also need to solve it quietly. Then if the volunteer is wrong, you can have your turn by raising your virtual hand. Then wait for me to call your name and then show your answer to your classmates. Okay? Do you understand? So, here are the problems. Who wants to volunteer? Yes, yes, Aline. So, you picked number two. Another? Yes, Margie. You chose number three. Who else? Yes, Joanna. You picked number five. Okay. Very good. All of you are indeed correct. Then, I will give your prizes to your mothers. Let us give them a round of applause. Now, class, why do you think you can easily get the correct answer? V? Very good, because you are focusing on our lesson. Very well said. Class, V is correct. Even I am not around, you need to be responsible in your studies because education and learning is very important. Am I right? Very good. Again, what is greatest common factor or GCF? Very good. Greatest common factor or GCF is the greatest number that is a factor of each of two or more numbers. So, what are the five steps in getting greatest common factor using continuous division? Yes, Janice. Very good. The five steps in getting GCF using continuous division are, again, what is the step one? Write the numbers. Horizontally. Step 2. Find the prime number that can divide the given numbers. Step 3. Divide the numbers by the prime number. Step 4. Continue the process until no other prime number is common. And lastly, multiply the common divisor. Very good. For that, give yourselves fireworks clap. 1, 2, 3. Shh, shh, shh. It seems that you fully understand our lesson. So, here is another activity. Are you familiar with the bingo game? Oh, that's nice to hear. So, class, in our GCF bingo game, I want you to get the GCF bingo card that I gave to your mother last distribution of module. Now, class, please scan first the numbers written in your GCF bingo cards and get some pebbles that you will use in our GCF bingo game. I will read the questions from the GCF bingo chips. Then if the answer is in your cards, you will put a pebble in that number. Is it clear? And for the formation of our GCF bingo game, here it is. 
This will serve as your pattern in playing the GCF bingo. The first pupil to complete the formation wins the game and he or she will shout GCF bingo! Class, do you understand? Very good. So let's start. For the first ball, what is the GCF of 18 and 27? For the second ball, what is the GCF of 42 and 56? For the third ball, what is the GCF of 280 and 210? For the fourth ball, what is the GCF of 35 and 40? And for the last ball, what is the GCF of 61 and 122? Now let us congratulate our winners. Give them a forward clap. One, two, three. Shh, shh, shh. And let us give you five stars. Class, did you enjoy our GCF bingo game? Very good. So for your seat work, kindly bring out all your mini boards and we will be having a quiz show. So I will be the quiz master. All you need to do, class, is to give the greatest common factor of the numbers which will be flashed on the white screen. Do you understand? After the question has been flashed on the screen, I will give you 3 minutes to solve and after that, Write it on the mini board. Then if I say boards up, you will raise all your boards wherein your answer was written. Am I clear? Okay, let's begin. Welcome to quiz show. Are you ready grade 5? So before that, here are the rules. All you need to do is to finish each level by answering the questions correctly. If not, you will be eaten by the crocodile. You will be given another life to play and you need to give the correct answer for the second time. Let's begin. What is the GCF of 60 and 75? Is it 15? Correct! For number 2, what is the GCF of 180 and 240? Is it 60? Very good! For number 3, what is the GCF of 105 and 35? Is it 35? Correct. Next, what is the GCF of 27 and 38? Is it 1? Very good. For question number 5, here is the problem. Sally has two pieces of string. One is 20 meters long and the other is 10 meters long. She cuts the strings in the same length. How long were the strings she made? Is it 10? Correct. And for our last question. A food store has bags of apples and bags of oranges. There are a total of 27 apples and 81 oranges. Each bag contains the same number of pieces of fruit. What is the greatest number of pieces of fruit each bag could contain? Is it 27? Very good! You made it! Congratulations to our winners! So now class, for your assignment, kindly get your math notebook and copy this. In the first part, all you need to do is to give the GCF of the following pair using the continuous division. And for the second part, you will need to solve the following problem. Are there any questions about your assignment? If none, you may leave our virtual class. Goodbye class!